Mheshimiwa Angilu, Mheshimiwa Makali, Honorable Members of the County Assembly who are here as well. Kwa Christian wote ambao tumekuja hili tuwe pamoja siku hii ambao tunasindikiza Tony Woods, Mabibi na Mabwana, good afternoon. I did not know Tony Woods very much, but I knew him a little. I was admitted in Matignani Secondary School in 1968 from one when I was about 12 years old. And our headmaster then, because they were called headmasters, not principals, our headmaster then was Father Hunt. And Tony Woods used to come to Matignani quite a lot. And uh, he looked a very lovely person. And that's the much I knew him right then. Then as years went by when I was still in Matignani, we used to come for sports here at Ido Okwesho Grounds today. But we used to call it Ido Okwe Stadium. And uh, I would watch Tony Woods mix with his students in a very free manner chat with them, love with them, which was different from all of us who came from other schools. And as we say in our culture, you only judge somebody sometimes if you do not know through them very well through their products. I knew many of the students who went through here, some are my friends. Some are my relatives. Some became my students when I was teaching. I taught St. Joseph's in Wingy when I finished my A-levels in 1974. I taught some. And I also taught some at the University of Nairobi because after I finished my PhD studies in the UK, I also taught the University of Nairobi and I taught some. And I've met a lot of them in various walks of life. Uh, Mr. Musunza is a good example. And there's one characteristic you can't miss in those who went through St. Charles Wanga and Tony Wood. First of all, they are polished, they are disciplined, and they tend to be organized in whatever they are doing. And all of this we must attribute this to the great leader that Tony Woods was, the great administrator he was, the great motivator and inspirer. Because you need to be able to motivate others, to inspire others, for them really to get to that particular level. And therefore, I had to be here today uh, when the bishop uh, called me and told me about the passing on of Tony. I told him I would be here so that I can join everybody as we celebrate his life because today we are celebrating his life. And I've listened to all the tributes which have been given by many people. They are full of uh, praise. And it is not misplaced praise. Whenever people depart, sometimes we tend to say very nice things about them. And uh, some of them are not true. But the things I've heard about Tony and what his students used to tell me about him really are uh, some of the things which have been said here today. When somebody like Tony leaves us, we need to ask ourselves, what can we do? What can we learn from him? How can we preserve some of the things he believed in, things he valued? And I therefore wish to agree with the 
uh, Governor Gilu and don't say why am I calling her governor? One's a governor, always a governor. Uh, I want to agree with her that we need to support that uh, foundation so that, that from, from that foundation a lot more students can be paid school fees. I was just working with one of my CEOs who uh, is here and he told me, he came here in Form 1 after he was admitted in Alliance but he could not go there because they didn't have money. So he came here and saw Mr. Tony Wood and Mr. Tony Woods paid school fees for him for four years. Now he's one of my chief officers, one of my good chief officers. And therefore we want many more students to have that benefit of going through schooling. Most of us do take some of these things for granted, but they shouldn't. It's true, people do miss school fees. And they miss school and an opportunity to advance their life because of that. So I want to give my own That's personal dangerous. undertaking to Bishop Mongela and to the leadership of this country of ours. That once we put our heads together and start that particular foundation, I don't want to name it. I think a bishop will lead us in naming it. But of course, there must be Tony Wood somewhere, Tony Wood's foundation. I want you to give an undertaking that I'll personally contribute to it. <laughs> Those who come from Kitui know my rallying call in relation to education. I normally say Kisomo no Cho. Education is the one which can really help somebody to define their lives very well. Education is an equalizer, and Tony really valued education. When we saw all the old boys here, that's a very good example. I mean, we had people who have gone to the army to very high levels, colonels. Uh, we had a, a general, and you don't get very many generals. Uh, we had a PS here. We have uh, Mwishmua Makali. He went to school here. He'll be speaking later. And many, many, many more people who are doctors, they are lawyers, teachers, and many other professionals. And for the contribution, the big contribution that Tony Woods did for us here and for others in the Lord here, others in Edoret, and others, as we have heard in Mutomo, and other places where he worked, would like to say a big thank you. And uh, because we all know uh, God gives and God takes, God gave us a Tony to live with us for those many years to do the many things. But God has decided that he calls him or he takes him at the point he has taken him. And therefore, it's my wish to say, may the Lord rest Tony Wood's soul in eternal peace. Thank you. Amen. Makofi, Makofi, Makofi. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I want to announce that... Uh,